This is quiz 20, and the problem deals, it's another related rate problem, and it deals with a boat that's being pulled into a dock by a rope. Um, and so let's see if we can draw the picture. So we got the boat down here, and there's a rope, and it's being pulled in here, and the, wa the boat is on the water, and this is the dock. And so the rope is one meter, the pulley is one meter higher than the bow of the boat on the water. So this distance here is one, and that's going to be constant. This distance, which is the rope, is varying, and so is the distance that the boat is along the water to, the, to where the dock is. Okay, so we need to make a variable for this. This will be x. And this will be y, if you like. So let's see what else the problem tells us is that um, the rope is pulled in at a rate of one meter per second. So what's changing is this distance right here, y. So dy dt is one meter per second. Technically, this is negative one because this distance is decreasing, but it's not going to make any difference for our purposes. All right, and then uh, if the rope is pulled in a rate of one meter per second, how fast is the boat approaching the dock? Um, how fast is this distance changing? So we have to find dx dt, the change in x with respect to t, when the, um, when the boat is eight meters from the dock. So that means when x equals eight. So we need to relate the variables, and here again the Pythagorean theorem seems pretty obvious. I only have one triangle. I'm not going to go looking for similar triangles if you only got one triangle. So x squared plus 1 squared equals y squared relates the variables. So if you differentiate both sides, this is going to give you 2x dx dt, because t is the independent variable, not x, equals 2y dy dt. Similarly, y is not the independent variable. Obviously, we can cancel the 2's. And when x equals 8, we can put x equal to 8 in here. And we know dx dt. Uh, no, we don't. We don't know what dx dt is. So 8 dx dt equals y. Well, we don't know y. x is 8. But we can figure out y because if we put x equal to 8 here. At the moment when x equals 8, we have a triangle that looks like this. And this is 1, and this is 8. And so this is y, and we can figure y squared equals 8 squared plus 1 squared. So that's going to be y equals square root of 65. So this means square root of 65 times dy dt, and dy dt is 1. So that says dx dt is equal to the square root of 65, 65 <laughs> divided by 8. And that's good enough. We certainly can't use calculators, so that's going to be our answer for an exam. And that's it for that problem.